Hi, this is a test. This is a test. <laughs> Hello friends, happy new year, 2023, crazy. One of my new year's resolutions, for lack of a better word, is to do better at this, <laughs> at making YouTube videos to just capture random things going on in my life, whether it's like a day out and about, or just a Christmas haul, or just here are some things that I like. <laughs> I just think it's cool to document these things, and people who do it, I envy not for their like following I guess but for the fact that they're gonna get to look back on this and be like that's who I was that's what I was doing that's what was going on and I want to do that and I've wanted to do that for a long time and I have done it sporadically but I have put aside some other things to make sure that I try really hard to do that this year and so we are kicking off 2023 <laughs> by jumping back to 2022 and then doing a quick little Christmas haul. So I am a spoiled brat and I get a lot for Christmas that I don't deserve and that I simply take for granted. And so I just wanna point out some of the things that I am really excited about that I got this year. And while I definitely got a few other things um, that I'm extremely thankful for, these are just some things that I think are cool and that I'm excited to use a lot this year. So let's start off with the big one. In this envelope are not actual Taylor Swift tickets, but the confirmation of Taylor Swift tickets. And I would show you these, but I don't know if it's weird to show the info of your ticket, but my husband got me these and like had someone make little fake tickets. And so that is really cool. I'm really excited about these and along those same lines I got a Midnight's vinyl. I do in fact like this album and I am really excited to get to see her in concert. I kind of debated asking for the CD because of the exclusive single on there but I have gotten to where I just love our record player and so it was worth it to me to just get a vinyl in pray that she releases that song on Spotify soon. Sticking with the theme, other Taylor Swift things, my brother-in-law got me a Taylor Swift t-shirt. I have yet to decide if I'm gonna wear it to the concert um, because I kind of was like, maybe I'll just be one of those people who dresses super sparkly <laughs> and goes to their little concert or whatever. But I also really like this shirt. It's like pretty simple. It's just like some of the pictures and it's like it says you're on your own kid at the bottom and so I don't know but super thankful for that I've already worn it and it is really comfy and cute that is the Taylor Swift portion of our Christmas haul love it thankful for her <laughs> thankful for all of those things too that's just it's fun that people know that I like that another thing that I got for my sister is this beautiful blanket I have already used it probably I've been home like four days and I've used it every day so Big fan, I'm actually gonna stay wrapped on this for the rest of the time. I'm sure it's probably a brand that I should know, like some fancy one, but I think these are trendy right now. Thank you, sister, for keeping me with it. Also for my sister is another trendy little crop top puffer coat, puffer vest thing. Again, there is probably a term for this that I'm not aware of, but I love this, I'm really excited. I went through a phase of, of these vests a while back and I'm glad that they are like in style now. And I like the neutral color one, that's the thing. I've never had one that is just like this. So I'm very much excited to wear that. Oh my goodness, my sister got me so many things. These are all from her. This is a classic, this is a Stanley. I have a really big water bottle, boom, this is it, uh, that my sister actually got for me two years ago and I use this so much but this thing is starting to break where it'll be locked but still open and leaks everywhere so i think i'm gonna make this like my home hello like i was saying i think i'm gonna make this my home water bottle and this my work water bottle i've already committed and put stickers on it which is so unlike me i have very few things with stickers on them a lot of these stickers are kind of old because i've been scared to put them on anything this feels like a good commitment stay hydrated 2023 okay the last thing that i think i got from my sister is this candle um, from this place in nashville that will like fill your candle up for you really good 
have a sniff. I like candles, obviously, and this is a fancy one, clearly. It's also a more, like, classy scent. I typically go for, like, sugar cookie, vanilla, and this one is, like, a little, what is it, redwoods and amber. So, feels very fancy to me. So, excited to light that one. Right now, I still have a pumpkin candle going. So, we'll probably finish that one out before we shift over to this, but love it thank you sister next up from another brother-in-law is the book the silent patient i specifically asked for this have heard amazing things and i actually read it uh, before the new year um, i read it all on new year's eve and really good uh, a little bit different than i was expecting i guess and i didn't like guess the ending but i was kind of like Duh. You know, if you know what I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to be one of those people who spoils books, but I do recommend reading it. It's pretty good. Now to a few things from my mother. Um, she got me a couple dresses. One is this sweater dress thing. I had asked for one and she was like, I looked at it and the material was bad. So I got you a different one. So thank you mother for always looking out. She also got me this one. Um, which I like. It's more of a folly pattern, but I like the style of it for sure. Um, so excited to wear that too. I just today took a bag of old clothes to Plato's Closet. So we're praying that we get some money back, <laughs> but if we don't, I'm taking it to Goodwill. And there was some old dresses in there that I just don't wear anymore that are just not my style anymore. And I struggle to get rid of things so much. And so I was happy to do that knowing that I had some beautiful sweaters still in the closet. Gonna come back to the big gift for mom in a little bit and show a couple of other things. My mother-in-law got me a new duffel. My trusty Vera Bradley duffel zipper broke. And while I think I'm going to replace it, as in like the zipper, I did wanna go ahead and get a new bag and just start to feel a little bit more, you know, I don't have to carry the same duffel that I've carried since I was 12. It's okay. It's actually full of clothes currently because going on a little trip here in a bit and went ahead as I did laundry and got ahead on the packing game. So that's that, but I love the color, super neutral, which I love. It comes with a big, hold on. It comes with a big thing, big strap to wrap around. Really appreciate that gift. Very very useful. These are from my aunt. I don't know if you guys are like this with your family, but we kind of have this thing where there's someone who gets a specific gift for everybody every year. And so like my cousin always gets my dad themed pajama pants. My aunt gets everybody tennis shoes. This is the second year in a row that she's gotten us on clouds. And let me grab my old pair. As you can see, this is what she got me last year. And this year she got us white which I love because I like white tennis shoes. And I know that that's like a thing is white tennis shoes, but I've never bought myself white shoes or like even sought them out, like asked people for them because it scares me to wear white shoes because I don't want to get them dirty. But if someone gives me them, it's not my fault. <laughs> like For some reason, I just feel a little bit better about that. And so I'm excited to wear these and I probably will be really stressed to get them dirty still, but there's like a little bit of freedom there knowing that I didn't like bring this upon myself. Like this was a gift and now I get to enjoy them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's where we're at. So excited to wear these. Now, last but certainly not least is the gift that I am most excited for, probably without a doubt. And that is, pause. My kitchen aid. Oh my goodness. I have wanted this bad boy for so long. I had it on my wedding registry and nobody got it for me, which is fine. These are expensive, but mom came through this year. And so even though I have not gotten it out of the box yet, I promise that I will. And I promise I will make so many cookies that it, it won't even be funny how many cookies that I make. As you can see, a perfect pink color. Very excited for that. Going to look amazing in my kitchen with all my other pink utensils. Mwah. Man, mom really came through. Love that. Well, that is all of the big stuff, I guess. Like I said, I got so many other fun things. I got a couple of other clothing items. I got some random accessories. I got gift cards. I got, you know, I got stuff from so many people and I felt really loved, really soaked up 
the Christmas time this year, I think. There were some things that I feel like I let fall through the cracks, but overall I really had a great end of the year. And a lot of that is just because of the people in my life. And so I hope that you did too. And I hope as you go into 2023, that you are still surrounded by people who bring out the best in you and who encourage you and ultimately uh, point you to something greater than yourself. But speaking of 2023, I guess I should also include my Christmas gift to myself, which is my new planner. Every year for the past probably four years, this might be number four, I get a day spring planner. It's perfect. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's perfect. It is exactly what I need. All the pages have check boxes, which is just super helpful for my brain. And like, just as I go throughout my day, I can add things and take them away from my to-do list. And it is just a dream of a planner and I love it. And so I treated myself to it again this year. Already have filled out most of the big things coming up this year and started off with my first work week already saying things that I need to do. This year's in full swing. Excited to use all the gifts I got for Christmas. Most of my Christmas decorations are down except for this bad boy right here. Simply too lazy for that right now. But, you know, we'll get to it eventually. And maybe Cameron will do it when I'm not home and it'll just surprise go away. <laughs> All that being said, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and wonderful New Year's. And I hope that you're excited for a beautiful, beautiful 2023. It's going to be that. I have full faith and I'm praying for you if you're watching this. And yeah, I appreciate you taking the time to check this out with me. Uh, I, again, I hope to see you more this year. That is my hope. That is my goal. I will see you next time. Have a great day, friend.